The Sith are the ancient enemies of the Jedi. Evil and immensely powerful, the Sith use the dark side of the Force to try to eradicate the Jedi and rule the galaxy. When a person joins the Sith and the dark side, they usually change their name and identity to something more Sithy. In today's video, I will be explaining the meaning behind some of the Sith names, from the more obvious ones like Darth Tyrannus to the more obscure ones such as Darth Revan. First is Darth Sidious, powerful Sith Lord and Emperor of the Galaxy for a time. Now the name Sidious almost certainly comes from the word insidious, meaning proceeding in a gradual, subtle way, but with harmful effects. That certainly describes Sidious's rise to power, subtly climbing the political ladder and becoming emperor, with grave results for the majority of those living under his rule. One of Sidious's apprentices was Count Dooku, or Darth Tyrannus. Now, I think we all know that a tyrant is a cruel, oppressive ruler. Dooku was the public face of the Separatists during the Clone Wars. Darth Maul was Sidious's first apprentice. The word Maul means to savagely attack and that definitely fits Darth Maul. He was a savage, violent duelist, using a double-bladed lightsaber and focusing almost exclusively on the combat aspects of the Force. A very popular Sith Lord among fans is Darth Revan. He lived in the Old Republic era, over 3,000 years before the Star Wars movies take place. I find his name very interesting. I believe it to come from the word Revenant, which is a person who has returned. Revan was formerly a Jedi. He was turned to the dark side by the Sith Lord Vitiate before coming back to the light side yet again. He was a person who returned from the dark side of the Force back to the light. Darth Bane was one of the most important Sith of all time. He destroyed the Sith Order and rebuilt it using the Rule of Two. The rule that there can only be two Sith at any given time, a Master and an Apprentice. This rule led to the Jedi being destroyed and the Sith ruling the galaxy nearly 1,000 years after Bane died. He chose his Sith name because before he was a Sith Lord, he was a lowly miner named Dessel on the planet Apatros. His abusive father hated him and often called him the bane of his life. When offered the position of Sith Lord, Des remembered his cruel father and decided to call himself Bane. Darth Venomous was a Bith Sith apprentice. I believe his name probably just means Venomous. Darth Krait was a Sith who was born 47 years after Star Wars A New Hope. His name came from the name of the Krait Dragon, a giant, fearsome beast that lived among the deserts of Tatooine. Darth Talon was another Sith who lived at the time of Krait. A female Twi'lek, she was named after the dangerous claws birds and other animals have for slashing, wounding, and killing. Now, Darth Vader. Now there are rumors going around that Vader comes from the German word Vater, meaning father, because Vader is Luke's father. That just simply isn't true. While Vader is Luke's father, that wasn't decided until Empire Strikes Back, the second movie Vader was in, third if you count the holiday special, which I don't. In A New Hope, the name Darth Vader was simply a play on the phrase Dark Invader. That's all the name translations I could find. If you know of any more, let me know down in the comment section. And while you're at it, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more cool videos like this one.